This video shows how to adjust and replace the internal regulator used in most FlowServe digital positioners. To perform this task, you will need a 0 to 30 PSI gauge, needle nose pliers, a Phillips screwdriver, a torque screwdriver, a 2 mm hex or allen key, and Loctite 222. It is also important to take precautionary measures to prevent electronics from being exposed to static electricity. The use of anti-static clothing and shoes, grounding wrist or heel straps, or other anti-static methods is recommended. To perform this task, port 2 must be plugged and an air fitting must be installed into the supply port of the positioner. Next, remove the main board cover. Apply 60 PSI air to the supply port of the positioner. Next, carefully remove the clear tubing from the driver module with a pair of needle nose pliers. Connect the end of the tubing to a 0 to 30 PSI gauge. Verify that the pressure is between 19 PSI and 19.2 PSI. To adjust the regulator pressure, remove the calibration sticker from the set screw. Using a 2 mm hex head wrench, turn the set screw clockwise to increase the pressure or counterclockwise to decrease the pressure. Adjust the set screw until the regulator pressure is within the acceptable range. Remove the air supply from the positioner and wait until the gauge returns to zero. Reapply the air supply to the positioner and readjust the pressure to 19 to 19.2 PSI. Repeat this process once more and verify the regulator is still set at 19 to 19.2 PSI. After the regulator pressure has been verified to be within the acceptable range, it must be checked for acceptable flow. Remove the tubing from the gauge. Normal flow should be forceful and be able to significantly move a thin object, such as the factory calibrated sticker. If forceful airflow cannot be confirmed, the regulator will need to be replaced. To replace the regulator, first remove the air supply from the positioner. Next, remove the main board and pressure sensor. Then loosen the four regulator screws. With the main board and pressure sensor out of the way, pull the regulator assembly out of the positioner housing. Apply a small amount of Loctite 222 into the holes and carefully place the new regulator assembly into the positioner housing. Install four screws and tighten evenly. Install the O-rings for the pressure sensor board. Make sure that they are well placed in the countersunk holes. Apply Loctite 222 into the screw holes and reinstall the pressure sensor board. Insert two screws and tighten evenly to 8 inch pounds. Connect the end of the tubing to a 0 to 30 PSI gauge. Apply air supply to the positioner and verify that the regulator pressure is between 19 PSI and 19.2 PSI. Adjust the set screw until the regulator pressure is within the acceptable range. Remove the air supply from the positioner and wait until the gauge returns to zero. Reapply the air supply to the positioner. Apply a small amount of Loctite 222 to the set screw and readjust the pressure to 19 to 19.2 PSI. Repeat this process once more and verify the regulator is still set at 19 to 19.2 PSI. Remove the tubing from the gauge and verify airflow. Normal flow should be forceful and be able to significantly move a thin object, such as the factory calibrated sticker. 
after acceptable airflow is confirmed. Reconnect the tubing to the driver assembly. Next, apply a factory calibrated sticker to the set screw and remove the air supply from the positioner. Apply Loctite 222 into the screw holes for the mainboard. Reconnect all wires and place the mainboard into the positioner housing while taking care not to pinch the tubing. Install the appropriate screws and tighten carefully. Reinstall the mainboard cover. Install the screws and carefully tighten. 